was unfamiliar territory right from the start. For the first time ever, I was late for a deadline with my work. That's me in the car, by the way. James Colchester, a young English writer in a great deal of trouble. Anyway, I needed to find somewhere where I could work with no distractions, particularly distractions of the female kind. I knew exactly what I was looking for, some sleepy fishing village tucked away on the coast. And this being southern Italy, it wasn't long before I found it. Just what the doctor ordered. Three weeks of nothing but old buildings, old wine, and of course, old women. And most important of all, no pretty girls. Nope, not one. Not a single, solitary one, anywhere. I'd spent more than an hour looking for a cheap hotel. And then I realised in Italy, cheap hotels went under a different name. I'm not really hungry, actually. Not, 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 I think you better shush. Prego. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. Chin chin. All the best. Cheers. Cheers to you, Mama. There we go. And uh, cheers to you, too. Hey! Party, Wally! Andiamo! Vai! Cammina! Stare vermi lì! Beh! Vermi. 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 Baby, yes, ah, it's salute. Lovely. It's lovely, it's lovely. So, well, è buono? These, these are all your sì. are they? Uno, due, tre, miei figli. And, I just had my first Italian meal. How do they do it? My conscience was telling me to do some work. My body, however, had other ideas. Shut up! 
Now, I know I told you I'd come to Italy to avoid distractions. But I figured since she was probably the only attractive girl I'd see for a while, I'd, I'd make an exception in this case and introduce myself. Don't you just hate it when you get things wrong? Ah, disgraziato, disonesto! Luigi! Che porco, questo uomo proprio non mi lascia stare! Now, I know my Italian is pretty basic, but when her old man got me by the throat and shouted, Bastardo Inglese, I don't think he meant me to stay for dinner. All in all, I consider myself lucky to have escaped with my life. So, after dazzling the natives with my bartering skills, I decided to get back on the road. After all, there was work to be done. About ten miles out of town, however, the strangest thing happened. Maybe it was the midday heat, or maybe the melon I'd eaten was past its best. But when she left, transported like a goddess on a chariot, what did I do? Like an idiot, I found myself following. At some stage, temptation comes knocking at every man's door. To some, it might be the roll of the dice, or a glass of whiskey. Mine, I was beginning to realize, was southern Italian farm workers. There's no doubt this one had me behaving like a chump. So, you can imagine my relief when, like the cavalry coming to the rescue, I felt a sneeze coming on. And as a lifelong sufferer of hay fever, I had to get out before she saw me dribble. Things weren't going well. The truth is, things had never been worse. I was two months late for my deadline, I'd spent my advance, and I still couldn't get away into this book. The situation called for drastic measures. As I'm sure you're aware, there's a long tradition of artists being inspired by nature. Well, me, I've never been one for all that fresh air and beautiful scenery. But the way things were going, I was ready to try anything. So there I was, me and the big outdoors, and would you believe it, after everything I said, the first thing that happens, I get struck dumb by something of intense natural beauty. As she left, I offered some kind of an apology, and she offered several kinds of insult. 
In a world where first impressions count for so much, I clearly didn't stand a chance. is, she had me down as a pervert, and nothing I could say would convince her otherwise. The nearest town was Fellini, and wasn't even mentioned in the guidebook, so I figured it would be boring enough for me to stay a while. Who knows, I might even get some work done. My first encounter with a Fellini person gave me the chance to win back some of the respect I'd left on the beach with my socks. I thought if anything would win me a friend, it would be an exhibition of dazzling ball control. Clearly the locals thought otherwise. I decided to quit while I was still ahead and check out the local heat. I thought I recognised some of the cast from The Godfather. Or was it Zorba the Greek? I was about to sneak another look when I turned and saw someone I definitely had seen before. Because of why? Oh, um, gin tonica. Uh, una uh, gin tonica. Uh, uh, una gin tonica uh, conciacchio. Give it a go. Why not? <clears throat> Cheers. So this was to be her revenge. <coughs> Death by Grappa. Lovely. <coughs> I wasn't going to show any weakness, though. Not even when she brought me an example of her home cooking. I was obviously poisoned. I wasn't going to eat any. So I opted to play the fool. This went down a storm with the boys. It seemed to do the trick with her, too. Her manner had definitely softened. More than softened. Something about this didn't smell right. But I would meet her as arranged, if only to offer an apology. A moment later, she arrived. And in the most dramatic change of behaviour I've ever seen from anyone, jumped on me. 
Is there a garage still open around here? Do you know? Me, I'm yeah. more. Yeah. No, please, get me. Oh, more. You can't. oh, yes, they are quite something. Mm -hmm. I couldn't understand this at all. We have to stop this. Me, I'm more. <laughs> So when I saw the brats, I began to suspect the worst. Pardon? And when I saw the brothers, I realised she'd finally got her revenge. were back in business. My only hope was that they'd eaten more spaghetti than me. Just as it looked like my goose was well and truly cooked, I remembered a trick I'd seen in a Jerry Lewis movie. It worked. I'd lost them. For a couple of seconds, anyway. That night, I found a room with spectacular sea views. It was pitiful. 48 hours ago, I was still a respected writer. Now, I was washed up on a beach like a tramp. Hey, can I have my ball, please? Thank you. to win back some of my self-respect. And promptly chose the worst possible way of going about it. Okay, lad, no, leave it in the dark. Yeah, I... You've had your little joke, now let's have it. Thank you very much. Pain. Pain. Pain,
What had started out as an inspirational retreat was rapidly turning into a nightmare. I decided to abandon the countryside and head for the city. At least there I could lock myself up in some cheap hotel, draw the blinds and work. It hadn't occurred to me yet that maybe I didn't want to finish the book. At the time, I thought all I needed was a change of luck. thing was a conspiracy and the car was in on it too get up there you vicious sod get oh i'm gonna i all the signs down. pointed to a faulty carburetor yes, but since you i had no down. idea what a carburetor looked like i opted for physical you abuse for i'm gonna give you the freshing of your life take that and that ha! i've laid it on the line to you time and time again there there now Oi, Mussolini, is there a, is there a, gar yes, you, I'm talking to you, is there a gas state, a gasoline, oi, where are you get that, oh, you've got, I haven't there. finished yet. Hello. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep because when I woke up, I certainly wasn't by the roadside anymore. Of course, I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> what? 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 Why? I mean, wh how? What? what? What kind of an idiot would do that? Hello, how are you? Are you well? I'm well, I'm fine. Did, did you do this? Good plan, good idea, yeah, needed fixing, excellent. So, how are you doing? All right. La macchina è pronta fra un'ora, eh? Right. Pronta. What? An hour, did you say? Right, do you, have a, do you have a telephone that I can phone my agent? Intertalent? Hello, can I speak to Martin Bowen, please? Who's calling, please? Yeah, it's James Colchester. Waiting for you. Martin, Jim. How's yeah, it yeah. Oh, fine, fine, fine. You sure? No, no, really, really. Progress is good. Yes, uh, couldn't be better. Well, I'm bloody glad to hear it. No, uh, really, really great. Couldn't be better. Um, I've got everything I need. Good food, plenty of fresh air. Well, who gives a damn about the fresh air? The fact is, you're two months late. Now, look, we need some of these pages to prove the fact that you've actually done some of the bloody work. So, can you get hold of Hang on, then, Martin, will you? Something just came up. What came up? Jim? Hello, Jim? You haven't put me on hold, have you? You can't put me on hold. The point is, get hold of a fax any way you can. Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, I heard what you said, Martin. You want me to fax it to you? Well, I can't. What the hell do you mean? Because... Look, the fact is, what? we need to show some pages to the publishers straight away, because there's a deadline, you've missed the deadline, and at the moment, I'm beginning to look like an idiot. And I don't want to look like an idiot, because the company's reputation is at stake. So, for God's sake, get hold of a fax machine, send me the pages... Martin, I'll call you back. What? was um, a very important phone call. Shh. Mio marito è lì fuori.
It was an interesting arrangement they had going. He played with the engines, while she played with the customers. Guarda che luna, guarda che mare, da questa notte senza te dovrò restare, folle d'amore, vorrei morire, mentre la luna di lassù mi sta a guardare, resta soltanto il rimpianto perché ho peccato nel desiderarti tanto ora son solo a ricordare e vorrei I don't know what I thought I was doing I mean if there was one thing I'd learned on this trip it was that beautiful women spell trouble and in this case trouble had tattoos and a blowtorch I wasn't tempted to stick around. I was seriously considering having my entire engine rebuilt. Ma guarda che luna, guarda che mare, in questa notte senza te vorrei morire, perché son solo a ricordare e vorrei poterti dire. Guarda che luna, guarda che mare, Guarda che luna, guarda che mare! But something about that hammer brought me back to my senses. Rome was still 60 miles away, but if the roads were clear, I'd make it before sundown. surrounded me. Hello, yes, can I help? What? What? Um... Can... Invitation only, is it? What? The only question now was whether I'd end up as cement mix or fish food. As it turned out, they had other plans. Cortege, you see, as it was in. Yes, no, of course not, yeah. No, what? tanto sola senza di te. Giuseppe e Marcello sentono tanto la tua mancanza. I bambini sono stati infelici, anch'io sono stata tanto infelice, ma il piccolo Giuseppe ti assomiglia tanto adesso. Oh, no, 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 Cotto, no, no, non essere geloso. Dai, sono ancora giovane e bella. Oh, 
fatto. Oh, che male, che male, che male. Cosa faccio adesso? Non so più right? cosa fare. No, no. Ok. Eh, sì, mi sono fatta male. No. Come? Sì. No. Sì. sì. Ah! Does that hurt? Oh! Yeah? Oh. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be sì, swollen. Sì, sì, It's hurting still. Oh, mm. che male. Right, well, look, oh. you better. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sit down. Come, come with me while I'll take you over to a big doctor or something. Oh, 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 oh. Steady. Oh, oh, oh. Steady. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 lovely. Oh. I don't know what I thought I was doing, but I was happy, and it felt like the first time in years. Walking through that field on that perfect summer afternoon, I realised I didn't much care about the book, nor the career that went with it. Some things were just more important. Now let me have that one. No, please, it's nothing. It's just, it's just, um, it's okay, don't speak English here. It's just, it, look, it's just some work of mine that I've, no, please, it's very important. Don't, don't screw it up like that. Just give me, give me the paper. Come on. No, 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 no! Oh, what did it matter? After all, it was only words. The time for words was over. I felt bad. I'd left without saying goodbye. The excuse I gave myself was that if I'd stayed for breakfast, I would have stayed for the rest of my life. And the fact is, I had a job to do. It's a cheap excuse, I know, and retribution was probably on its way. Little did I know how soon it would come or how cruel it would be. Stanno arrivando, oh, right, stanno okay. arrivando! Vai! 
so you, you'd like, like me to give you a lift, would you? Right. Ah, now you don't want to be sitting up there. You see, this, you as it turned out, out was Rosa. Head. A 19-year-old idealist who, at the last moment, decided she still wanted to marry for love, right. rather than part of her father's business plans. Good. Now, no, our Rosa wanted nothing at all to do with that wedding. Okay, well, look, what, what I would suggest is... Nor the wedding um, dress, it would appear. Something, you see? Please I told her if she was going to ride in this Please car, do, she'd have to cover up. Well, it was a star. Chambre, yeah, um, tomatoes, all those things. Um, pommes frites. Do you want some French fries? Yeah, yeah. French fries, pommes de frites, yeah. Oh, they've got them in already. Excellent. Okie dokie, that's the both. They look handsome. Excellent. Here we go. French fries, tomatoes. Ciao! She'd obviously lost her appetite. I, on the other hand, had lost everything, including the only copy of my manuscript. I was finished and had no one to blame but myself. The problem now was how to find the cash to get home again. And to make matters worse, this millionaires pulls up in her limo. The shoes alone would have bought a first-class ticket. You send me the ticket. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll even go by train. I don't mind. Really. In return, I'll give up smoking. I'll give up drinking. I'll even give up women if you like. Yeah, I'll give up women if you like. Just send me a ticket. I'm very good with hops. Two, I'm very good in the rigging. And three, 
Uh, tell me, can you get seasick in some way? It'd be a real fun guy to have about in a submarine. You just let me know what time we sail in the morning. you can, because there's no women on our submarines, no, sir. Next woman you see is going to be in Tahiti. Oh, God. Simba the sailor, rising through the sea, shiver me timbers even, strong as a hurricane. I've never done one. Hello. Just having a long, soulful walk. Do you want to go to a party, baby? Oh, I. Sure. Yeah, come on in, honey. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, you're a sweetheart. <laughs> come on to the party. You want to go to a party, baby? Oh, I. Yeah, come on in, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh,
time had come for a change of direction. the career, I could have it all back again in a second. But it had come too late. This scholar had learned something new. Once you've taken a bite of the apple, there's no putting it back on the tree. Che mare da questa notte senza te dovrò restare folle d'amore vorrei morire mentre la luna di lassù mi sta a guardare resta soltanto tutto il rimpianto che ho peccato nel desiderarti tanto ora son solo a ricordare e vorrei poterti dire guarda che luna guarda che mare
ma guarda che luna, guarda che mare, in questa notte senza te vorrei morire, perché son solo a ricordare e vorrei poterti dire, guarda che luna, guarda che mare, guarda che luna, Guarda che mai!